Hey guys, what's up? Um, I've been using... What? Louder. Louder. Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to drop a quick video on this Kata bag that I've been using for about a week now. I picked it up right before the trip to GDC. Right now we're at South by Southwest. And so I've had some time with it and have some impressions for you. Uh, I'll make this quick uh, because I'm hungry. Um, okay, so first of all, first thing about this bag is that it is not uh, going to be for pros carrying tons of gear. This is more of a day pack that will hold your body and maybe a couple of lenses in it and then uh, some other things you need to maybe get some photos out and edit it into the field. Um, so let's just dig right in. Uh, two big pockets, one here, one here. That's the main, uh, two main storage areas. Uh, it also has a side pocket and it has two, each of these flaps has a little Velcro, uh, a little Velcro opening here where you can uh, stick some papers or documents or a passport or what, something like that. Um, the bigger compartment is down here at the bottom and I have a couple of lenses and I have my 7D body uh, which fits in there pretty snug. Um, it does, you do have to kind of stretch it a bit so it's not, it's not a super perfect fit but definitely, uh, definitely does the job. Um, the nice thing about this bag that's made out of this neoprene material, so it has a bit of a form to it. Um, it also feels like there's some reinforcing um, areas uh, kind of behind the neoprene, so it, it kind of holds its shape. And what you get is this nice uh, kind of low profile that stays low profile. The whole purpose for me uh, in having this bag was that I didn't look like a photographer. I wanted to be able to carry this thing all day, take some photos, edit them, upload them, and be able to uh, you know take the bag to a party. Uh, or go out somewhere and not feel like I was coming from work. Um, so this is the other section and here I'm, I'm not gonna dig it all out but you can see I got a whole bunch of stuff, uh, mouse, chargers, batteries, cords, cables, uh, AC adapters, stuff like that. Um, there's a couple of pouches here, one for memory cards. Um, this one I use for little uh, flash uh, USB sticks. And um, there's also a little bag, a little pouch here which uh, I actually used, I'm not using it for this right now, but I actually used it for, um, for an overnight. I just threw a toothbrush and, uh, and some soap in there and I used it as an overnight. You can also remove it, obviously, and it increases the space of this compartment. The other nice thing is that these two compartments are divided down here, but that divider you can open up, so it creates a huge, uh, big open space uh, that you can use and put bigger items. Um, it's kind of chaotic in here, but I, I like it that way. A lot of bags try and put too many flaps and folders and, and little divisions for you to like perfectly, you know, arrange all your stuff. But I find I tend to lose stuff. Um, or when I need it, I don't know where to look because I don't really remember where I put that piece of paper or this card or whatever. By stuffing it all into one space, I know I can open one thing, dig through it quickly and find it. I mean, it's not that big. Nothing's going to get lost in here. Um, so. I really like that aspect of this bag. It's just big spaces and, um, and easy to find stuff. The other thing, there's a little pouch here. I'm using, it's meant for like, a, I guess an iPod. It has the, the headphone jack coming out of there. And this was a big sell for me and that's this back pouch, which holds a laptop, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, this is a 10 inch Dell Mini. Uh, it probably wouldn't fit more than about a 12, maybe a 13 inch MacBook. I uh, haven't tried it on, on either of those, but um, being able to carry a laptop with me, still have a low profile bag, um, and all my camera gear for a day trip is absolutely amazing. Uh, the bag's good looking, it stays low profile, the, the, uh, the materials are really, really good. Uh, they have a good feel to them. Uh, the straps are nice and padded. Um, there's a couple of extra little openings here. You can put like a phone or an iPod, um, although I don't think either phone or an iPod fit well in here unless you have an old Nokia candy bar style phone. Um, so uh, I can't really say much to the durability of the bag, I've only had it for a week, but all in all if you're looking for a good day pack that doesn't look like um, you're carrying around a ton of gear and also doesn't look like you know just a regular canvas bag, this thing um, with the neoprene finish and the kind of rugged look to it uh, definitely stands out. So uh, I'm really, really pumped about it. Um, this is one half of my traveling system, the day pack half. 
the main travel bag, I also have one of those. It's an F-Stop uh, gear product. Um, when I get a little bit more familiar with that, I will uh, post up another video. 